Hi, my name is Fiji Matavish, and welcome back to another DCG tutorial. In this question, we're going to do an autograph projection question from the 2014 ordinary level paper. So this is question B3. And as always, we reach with question first and see what it has to give us. So the 3D graphic on the right shows the outline of a house and conservatory. Uh, uh, figure B3 below shows an isometric view of the structure. And what we have to do, A, B, and C. So A, draw an elevation of the structure in direction of the arrow. B, project a plan of the elevation. And C, draw an auxiliary elevation of the structure projected from the plan, which will include the true shape of surface A. All right, so first things first, draw an elevation of structure in direction of arrow A. Okay, and then we have surface A here, uh, direction this arrow and surface A there. So we're going to need to do true shape of that at some stage. So that's going to go up this direction to the right hand side. So we'll start on the left. So we start with the XY line, pick a point to start off with, and we'll start putting in the box fits into it. So the width of it is 90 mil. Let's draw them up. Our heights then are 60 and 25. So this is the main part of the building. So first thing is 60 and then 25. Draw them across. The widths then are 45 and 45. So it's a 45 and 45, so we'll draw that up to find our center line. And that's basically everything put in for the main part of the house. So let's do the conservatory now. So we can't do the conservatory. We have the edges of it, so it's 50 mil in from the edges. And draw them up. It'll go up as far as the 60. And we can't do the thickness of this until we do the plan. Okay, so let's draw that much in strong first. Okay, so that is as much of the elevation done as we can do. Uh, we also have the 45 height here, so we'll put that in after we do the plan. So Next step was to do the plan. So project all your length straight down from the elevation because the plan is always going to be directly below it. Then pick a line, or draw a line to start your view, put in a gap there. So we're looking down from the top now. So this is going to be the back, and we need the distance from the back down to the front. So you look at your drawing, the distances are 100 mil and 30 mil. So we'll measure down 100 and then 30. I'm just going to bring this up because I'm. I lose a lot of the drawings these days with this recording for some reason, so let's mark that in. And now we can put in, so that has the, we can put in the conservatory now. So from our 15 point here, it's going down at 60 degrees. So we can mark in 6 degrees down like that to find out where it stops in the front. And the same from the other side, it is 60 degrees. And that would be the plan completed. And we can use that then to finish off the elevation. So we'll draw the plan in strong now. Okay, so to finish off the elevation, you're going to project that edge there straight up into the elevation. So in this case, we're going back up the way. Because you couldn't finish the elevation, didn't know the width of that until you did the plan. 
and the height of it was 45 mil, so measure up 45. And draw that across slightly. And that will give you that front surface there and we can finish off that elevation. Okay, so that is the elevation done and the plan. So that's part A and part B. And next they are asking you to put in an auxiliary, oh no, let's read it. They are asking you to put in an auxiliary elevation of the structure projected from the plan, which will include the true shape of surface A. So true shape of the structure means the entire structure, all of it, and they want it give you a true shape of the surface A. So surface A is this surface here. Okay, and that is A down here in plan. Alright, so if you want to see a true shape of any surface, you need to project 90 degrees to that surface. So we need to see that surface flat. Okay, it's not flat in this view, because you see here it's at an angle. So if we look straight in at it, we're going to see it as a true shape. So straight in means you need to project perpendicular to the surface. So you need to project 90 degrees to it. So this one, the surface is at 60 degrees. So if we project at 30 degrees like so, we'll get 90 degrees to the surface. So if you see here, if I project that line and this line here, we are getting perpendicular to that surface. We've got 90 degrees to the surface. Alright, so project all your points from the plan up here to the right hand side at, nine, at 30 degrees. When you have all your lines projected you put in a new X1, Y1. So your X1 lines are always going to be uh, 90 degrees to your projection line. So they're going to be perpendicular to your projection line. So we put in an X1, Y1 here. Now, I gave you a bit of a hint in the question. It said draw an auxiliary elevation. So if you're projecting from the plan, the view up here is going to be an elevation. Okay, so that means our heights have to be from the elevation, taken from the elevation. So let's just label a few of these points before we start off. So if we go with the main structure, I will right, we'll go with the one, two, three, four, five, those first five points, okay? So if we label this one here, zero, one, two, three, and four, okay? Down in plan then, this is zero and one. This is point zero and point one. This is point two. This is point three and point four. Okay. Then you can go back to the back. You say four goes all the way to the back here, to the bottom at the back there. That would be five. Okay, and it's at the bottom, so we put them in here. Then he goes up to 6, so this will be 0.6. 6 goes up to the top here, that would be 0.7. That goes over to 8, and right down to the bottom then is 0.9. Okay, so if you look at the elevation here, so it goes 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 goes back to 0.5. 5 then, so it's the same shape at the back, so 5 will travel up, this is 6. 6 travels up the angle, 7 is at the back. 8 is down here and 9 is at the very back down there. Okay, so there are all the points for the main structure. For the uh, conservatory that's out here, we'll start by labeling the elevation. So we can go with maybe letters for this. We'll say this is A down here. And we can go with B there. And C and D. We'll just label 
the points at the bottom first and we'll do the points at the top now, A, B, C, D. I'm going to say this is E, F, G, N and H. Okay, so the structure will be that semi-pentagon at the bottom there will be A, B, C, D, and then at the top be E, F, G, H. Okay, so where they implant, this is A and H. This is B and G. This is C and F. And then this point here is D and E. Okay, so labeling is very important because once you label all your points, it's very hard to go wrong when it comes to joining the structure again. All right, so we'll go with our patio first, okay, because that's really what we want. We want the true shape of that surface A. So let's put that in. Okay, so a few of our points will go in straight off the bat. So we'll say A, B, C, D. You're getting the heights from the X, Y line up. So if A, B, C, and D are on the X, Y line in the elevation, they'll have to be on the X, Y line in the new auxiliary elevation. So A is on this line here, follow it up. So everything is being projected up this way now. So A is on the X1, Y1, so that is A. B is on the X1, Y1, that's B. C is here. And then D is at the back there. All right, find the heights now for E. So to get the height, you go from the X, Y line right up to the point. I'm using my, you can measure it, but I'm going to use the compass because it works out better. And it's quicker because now that's going to be the height for 3 and for H and for 1 and 8. So I can mark it a few points. So this height here is the height for point E. Follow the E line up. Mark it in. That's E. We also have the height here now for point H. Follow point H up. This is point H. And get the height for F and G to finish off that little conservatory. So this is the height for F and for G. So follow F up. This is point F. And this is point G. Okay, so I'm just going to draw that in lightly first to show you. So A, B, C, D are connected and E, F, G, H. So E goes on to F, F goes over to G, G goes up to H. E is also connected back to H like so. All right, A goes up to H, B goes up to G, C goes up to F, and D goes up to E. And D and E are, if you're looking in this direction, D and E are in the back, so therefore they're gonna be in detail when strong and strong. Okay, you do exactly the same now with the main structure, and that'll be easier again because all the points are either on the X, Y line or at this height or at the top there. So let's mark those. Okay, so if we join them in lightly now, we'll see how it's going to look. So 0 goes to 1, 1 goes to 2. I'm just following, I'm just following the labeling from here now to figure out how it's going to look down there. 2 goes down to 3, and 3 goes back down to 4. Okay. Same on the other side, you have 5 goes to 6, 6 goes to 7, 7 goes to 8, 8 goes back to 9. And you have 2 and 7 are connected. as well as 1 goes over to 8, so this is 1 and 8, and you also have 3 goes back to 0.6, okay, 
So that's the drawing done. It's only a matter of drawing in strong. So the drawing in strong, you're looking, remember, where the pencil is here, you're looking in that direction, okay? So this surface is strong, the roof is strong, surface A is strong, even G and F here, that's strong, right? This surface at the back is hidden detail. So anything that's behind something is going to be hidden detail, okay? So following that rules, follow the rules from where you're viewing the drawing. Draw the elevation in strong, or draw the auxiliary view in strong. Okay, so just with a shade in there to show which surface is which. So it's an auxiliary elevation, so the same as the elevation, just you're twisting at an angle. You're seeing it from a different view. That gives you the true shape of surface A and your auxiliary view. And that's the question done. I'm just going to zoom in now on the auxiliary view so I can see a bit better. Hopefully I haven't cut off half the drawing like I have in other questions. Okay, so that's auxiliary review done. Your surface A, then the left hand side here in the front, and the bit of the roof, and then you see the back side in hidden detail. You can see the back line here of the patio in hidden detail, and also the back line of the front surface in hidden detail there as well. Okay, so I hope that helped. Uh, if it did, leave a like, and don't forget to subscribe to see more DCG tutorials. Okay, thank you.